And um, just before I start, they've asked me just to ask you when you leave, if you could leave through that bottom door rather than the top one. Okay? Thanks very much. So I'd just like to welcome you to Trinity and to this short talk on the Human Health and Disease BSc course. And the aim of this is really just to give you some more information about the course and hopefully help you decide whether this might be a course that you're interested in doing. So the degree objectives then, um, what we aim, obviously the, the focus of this degree is on human health and disease rather than a more kind of basic science degree, okay? Um, <clears throat> so the first thing we, we try to um, teach is basically the structure and the function of the human body in the healthy state, because it's very important to understand that before you can understand what goes wrong in disease. And then we follow on um, to look at the signs and symptoms of disease, um, the molecular basis of disease, so really going down into detail, understanding exactly what's happening in disease in the human body. And then finally, the current treatments of disease and the, cutting, the new kind of cutting edge therapeutics um, that we can use to fight disease. And the way that we try and um, <coughs> uh, achieve these degree objectives is within a learning format, which involves not only lectures, okay, so you won't only be sitting in lectures um, just listening, but also practicals, where you're actually in a lab doing, um, doing practicals, tutorials, small group tutorials, and then group work projects as well. And as I say, if you want to find out more about these various aspects, um, we have the stand over in the loose hall where you can actually go and talk um, to some of the students as well as um, the lecturers. And then finally, in the fourth year, there's a research project which takes place in the whole of the second term. Um, and that, again, will be done in a lab which would be in one of the laboratories of the schools that contribute to the course. Um, and there's also a possibility of an exchange program, which I'll talk more about in a minute. <clears throat> so what can you expect? Well, hopefully, if you did this course, you would find it an exciting and interesting, and it's also quite practically relevant, and I think you come out of it with real um, skills. So the idea is to, to gain not only a wide-ranging knowledge of the biomedical sciences, but also kind of more of it at a deep level. So it's not just superficial. You actually really um, understand the various aspects that we're trying to teach. And I think one of the most important things is you come out with a core skill set. Okay, so you're not just gaining knowledge, but actual skills. Um, so in terms of laboratory techniques, um, how to analyze data, um, how to present your data once you have it, writing up a report, um, research methodology, and then ethics and critical thinking. And these are all skills that you would need if you wanted to go, if you were interested in, in pursuing research in this type of area. So the different schools then that are involved within Trinity, so it's run between the School of Medicine and the School of Biochemistry and Immunology, okay? But then there's also different partner centers that are also involved. So we have lectures from, from other schools as well. So this would be the School of Pharmacy, Chemistry, Mathematics, um, the Biology Teaching Center, and you generally do a broad curriculum course as well. So the idea of that is just to kind of broaden your knowledge so that you're not only just doing science. And there's also psychology as well. So what we aim to have is an integrative learning approach, that you're not really just learning separate kind of blocks of knowledge throughout the degree, but that everything is, is actually kind of integrated and you get the whole picture. So as I said, <clears throat> what we have to do is first understand the healthy system. Okay, so in the first couple of years, really there's a lot of focus on understanding how the human body works in, in when it's healthy. Okay, and this goes from right down from the, the molecules and cells, how they're organized in tissues, different organs, and then right up to the whole, um, the whole human, essentially. Okay, and then... We can then try and understand what goes wrong in disease, right from the molecular level, again, to cells, tissues, organs, and systems, okay, over here. And obviously, prevention is very important, so there'd be also a lot of um, focus on public health aspects, etc. cetera, um, and then also how to actually treat these diseases, so in terms of intervention. And the idea is that this is all kind of integrated, okay, you're not just learning separate bits and pieces. So this is quite complex now, so don't worry about the, the small writing. But this is essentially to show you how the curriculum all fits together, okay? And you can see there are three different colored um, circles. So the pink is the basic human biology. And you can see that particularly in the first two years, there's a lot of focus on that. So that would be basic anatomy, physiology, um, and things like that. And then over in the um, kind of the olive green, over here, those would be the skill sets that you, that you would acquire. So for example, in the first year, there'd be mathematical methods so a bit of psychology, um, and you do a lot of tutorials as well, which are very important in, in helping you to learn. Um, and then also broad curriculum as well. And then the second year, there would be sort of research methods and statistics. Um, again, more tutorials as well. So that really um, gives you skills that are very important. And then in year three and four, um, you can see things really kind of start to come together. 
and the gray area over here, the gray circles, um, that's applied biomedical sciences. So you're really then learning to apply the knowledge that you've gained throughout the degree, okay? Um, and in the fourth year, as I say, that there's, it's very heavily involved in the research project which you do in the second semester. So an example for ex um, of, of something that you might be learning, for example, in the, in the degree, just to show you how the continuity works throughout the four, four years. <clears throat> so for example, if you're learning about diabetes, a disease, okay, in the first year, you might learn about glucose as a fuel source and various different aspects of the basic um, physiology. Um, again, in the second year, basic physiology of the gut and hormones. And in the third year, you start to learn more about the diagnostics and treatment and the disease, okay? And then in the fourth year, really kind of putting everything together, um, public health and your research project. And then in your research project, there's an opportunity for this exchange program. Currently, there'd be um, a place um, to go to Sweden for the, to the Karolinska Institute, okay? Um, so this is a very prestigious <clears throat> institute, which is the home of Nobel Prize in medicine and, or physiology. And then based on merit and academic achievement, et cetera, um, people would be able to compete for a place to go there to actually do the project, okay? Um, otherwise, the project would be within one of the school, the um, laboratories within the School of Medicine or the School of, of Biochemistry. So the, the way that we normally um, measure the outcomes or what you'd hope to have at the end of the degree is by these learning outcomes, which if you want to see in more detail, you, you should be able to find. Um, <clears throat> so the idea is that you can integrate the basic biological principles of the human body. Um, you'll be able to relate the signs and symptoms of disease, um, evaluate treatment and prevention, um, et cetera, et cetera, um, appraise scientific data, so you really have the knowledge and the ability to actually understand, read scientific papers and understand them. And then finally, you'd be able to actually have the ability to conduct research, because you will have done the research project, and you'll have all the basic knowledge. So the question that most people ask is, what will I be able to do with this degree? Okay, so after, the, after you graduate, you can go into direct employment, potentially. Um, this might be within academic research, okay, within possibly an area that is, is kind of health and disease related, so maybe biomedical research, uh, potentially within the healthcare sector, or within um, research and development within a company, for example, say Wyeth or something like that, who's in Ireland. Um, many people also might decide that, some people might decide that they want to leave and actually do a different degree, so maybe graduate entry into medicine or pharmacy or physiology, phys physiotherapy, one of those. Um, the other op <coughs> possibility is to do um, a postgraduate degree, so such as an MSc or a PhD. And normally people who are serious about um, pursuing a career in research would do one of these postgraduate degrees, okay? Um, so if you did a PhD, for example, then you essentially follow, you sort of more specialized and more qualified to then enter the kind of academic research career, if that's what you're interested in. So, and also just to let you know that aside from the normal way of getting into the degree, um, there is also the Trinity Access Program. So certain people might be able to get a non-traditional um, type of entry. So for example, if you're a mature student or disabled or a minority group, um, the idea is that 22% of places should be available um, to these different groups of people. So if you're interested in this degree and you want to find out more, you can visit the stand which is in the, um, in the loose hall. Okay, so there'll be um, normally a lecturer there to answer your questions. And there are also students who are currently doing the degree from both the first and second years. Um, so they might be able to tell you, you know, exactly what it's like and how they, how they enjoy the course. And these are the details of Dr. Neil Doherty, who's the um, course director. So if you want to take down his um, email address and, or phone number, you can always get more information from him. And I'd be happy to answer any questions that anyone might have.